Ruth here, and this is my craft stash haul number seven. I thought this was going to come later than it did, but considering I ordered the uh, advent calendar in the same order, but I guess they're sending that separately because they're sending that in November. Anywho, uh, did I say hello? Hi. I, I just woke up from a nap. Well, I got woke up from a nap. But anyway, to wake up somewhere else. But anyway, that's besides the point. I thought this was a very nice stamp. I really liked the hands and like the little kind of circle thing there. It's got Hope You Get Spoiled Rotten. Thanks a bunch. Thinking of you. I'm looking at it sideways. With love. Scent. On your birthday. Gathered just for you. And also the other reason I got is because it's lovely roses. This is the Adventures in Ink. Five, a five stamp set. So many lovely. What is that? Peony? Or something? Or Dragonfly? Which, eh. But I mainly got it for the two hands, and I also like the roses. And this thing. But yeah, it's called Gathered, by the way. 17 stamps. And if you need to know. Here's that code thing, if you can search by, made last year. It was, I think, was on sale. Okay, also these ones were on sale too. So I got it. This is the... Five by seven shutter blind card mechanism, mechanism die set. Eight dies. Five by seven. There is a six by six one, but I decided to get this one first. I didn't get the six by six of this thing, but I decided to go with this one and I'll get the six by six another time. For some reason, it was more expensive. Only a pound more, but anyway. It's got these bits, the mechanism bit here, bit to cover it, the like stopper, slide stopper bits. And the main thing in the window. And another thing. Yeah. These bits are the main mechanism bits. This is like the cover uh, layer to go over top of this. And this bit, I believe, gets slotted into here. These bits are slotted into here. This gets stuck on the back of this. This one gets, you know, thinged here to stop this from going further upwards. I don't know. I watched this video like two or three times just to be sure I wanted to get this. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, you die cut two of these and one of these. So there's your shutter. Think of like a uh, uh, one of those metal steel shutters or like, you know. Anyway, I just got an advertisement for a different. Oh, my hand. And cramps. Um, for different things you can uh, buy. This is a Christmas tree in snow time. I mean, snowman. Christmas tree set. So I didn't just get the mechanism, because, like, I've got other stamps I can probably put in the front anyway. Yeah. And um, this is the instructions. Anywho, just like most of the time, these, for most all crafts that I have made, yeah, they're in a little baggy. So, what I do, if you. I don't think I actually showed you what I did, did I? I'll show you at the end. Um, this is the. Five by seven mechanism die set for the the color magic one. I believe. Yeah, I believe that's it. They really should put the uh, the the name on here like they did. Here, the shutter thing. 
I would put it down here. They didn't put anything here. I didn't put the name on there either like they did here. Fish. Is a packaging problem? Which they could remedy or something in the future when they went out of this packaging. Um, six ties. And these are the stopper bits and thing on the side or on the bottom. Can't remember. I'll have to watch the video again. Like, this is like for, I think, goes in here. Cut the large die in your chosen color. Cut the plain rectangle in white card and the acetate and stamp your image. And stamp your chosen image into the center. Adhere the acetate piece behind the frame and the white piece onto the inside and fold it in half so the two images line up. Die cut the pull tab piece and slide through the slot. Cut three of each strip pieces and adhere them together. Then adhere these around the inside and the notch end towards the top. Add a little glue to the top strips. Close the top. Cut the larger piece. Adhere your card blank. Add glue to the card to the back of the main piece and adhere onto the center of your card. Decorate as desired. Well, I'll probably just rewatch the video. <laughs> and size has instructions on the back of both of them. But I might just. watch the video because I, I think I do better with pictured instructions than just bullet points instructions here. I mean, the beginning is easy enough. Die cut the largest die in your chosen cardstock. Die cut the small rectangle piece, slot and adhere to the middle of the larger piece. I cut one of the smaller tabs and three of the larger tabs. Oh, it's not two and one. It's one and three. Okay. Then I cut the T-shaped piece. Stamp the word pull along the very top. Slot in and adhere the three larger tabs and the bottom three slots and the smallest tab in the top slot. Stamp and color your chosen image on the four tabbed piece in the center of the larger cut piece. Slot your, the four tabs in the big slots of the main piece. Then die cut the plain T-bar piece and adhere over the other one to reinforce it and to cover up the glue bits, I guess. Uh, pull tab, pull the tab until the slot disappears and adhere the thin, smallest piece along the bottom to form a stopper. Add some adhesive to the side tabs on the largest piece and adhere to the card blank. Finish by die cutting the frame, die and adhere to the top of the mechanism piece. For some reason that sounded really boring when I was reading it out. And, um, as I said earlier, I kind of just woke up from a nap. I got woken up from a nap, which I was still kind of tired. I decided to just record this since technically I was about to record it before I took a nap. <laughs> I had it on my lap already. But anyway, yes, as, I, as I was going to say, what I do with this, if I can show you the big one. If I have good one next to me. Okay. So I got to the poly pocket thing. So what I do uh, Oh, this moved I think. Yeah. I 
got some magnetic, magnetic, magnetic sheet and I cut it into strips that I need. I don't need it entirely, completely, you know, magnetized. Though so I might have another little bit right here actually, just to keep it secure. But yeah, I don't really need the entire thing to be a full sheet. Plus it'd be real heavy if I had everything full sheets. If I found out. I started cutting them. So I just also this saves me on magnetic shades. So I use the packaging on this. Then I'll just close it. I decided to keep a flap on this one. They don't normally have flaps. <laughs> then I'll stick it in the thing. Because like for instance, yeah, I, I need to make that too. Um for instance, I got let's see. For instance, uh -huh. yeah. this one has to stay up and die. So, I put it dies on one side, and this stamps on the other. I still need to use this, so I finally got the brown in. I just need to get the red over here. And the green. Then I'll stamp this. Okay, anyway, that's besides the point. But, like, currently, I store them like this. I put the stamp on this side, and the die on that side. But for stamp only ones, I and so well, at least most of them are smaller. So, like for instance, stamp only one that I'm trying to get out of the pocket. Actually, no, this is stamp only. It's got a die in it as well. Okay, stamp. And I in one place so I'll know where it is. Um, oh, here. This is stamp only. See? I cut off the back. I don't really keep the back on it, it's just a stamp. So, for instance, I don't. Well, these ones have a stamp and die with it, but this one, sentiment one, is just. Stick it on the back. You know? So that's how I store them. Currently. Then if I'll keep them, well, I'll, I'll probably still keep them in the poly pocket, but I still need to find a better way to store them. Because currently the stamps are in my uh, A4 set, or large, or whatever. Not A4, it's bigger than A4, but that's like a large uh, couple binders with the zipper on but um I don't know how long they'll uh, keep in there without completely falling apart or anything so uh I gotta figure out another system to put some on also because I don't have enough of those currently so I might not have <laughs> enough space to put them in I don't think I have a spare one. No, I just got it. So I got one for my manual stamps. Most of them are for my... Well, for all the other stamps, really. So yes. So I keep both my dies and my die and stamp sets in my filing cabinet. Which, I need to read... I'll need to see if I can put in the new stuff. Because then otherwise I'd need to use another drawer. Eh, well, I'm rambling now. Um, yes. So, what this video is about is not these two. I'll put those away after. Is these three. I really quite like that they've got two hands there, the left and the right, and also if you put a crystal ball in the middle, it'd be like a fortune teller kind of thing, like a crystal ball or snow globe thing, put it like, you know, position them like that, do like a little seam or a sentiment in the middle, and it'd be like a little crystal ball fortune telling thing, yeah. Anyway, 
Why don't you just mask off? Um. Do the flower. Mask it off. Put the hand there. And then peel away. And then... Voila! You have... Well... Then you'd have to stamp the thumb part again, because the thumb part is obviously in front of this, uh, the hand. Yeah, the thumb part is obviously in front of the stem part. Well, well that's, that's kind of awkward. Mm. How would you do that? I mean, you could with the, uh, with Shini. I have Crafter's Companion Disappearing Ink. I could do that with that. And just paint the parts. You know, watercolor in the parts that you wanted, or just outline the parts that you wanted, eat it, and it disappears. I mean, that's one way to do it. If your uh, masking technique doesn't work, I'll have to try it out sometime. And just see if that works. Or whatever, or just ink up a little bit of the uh, the re the flower stem bit. Stamp the hand, then ink up the rest of the stem, one underneath the hand. I don't know. It's too early to think. Well, oh, it's 4:14 p.m. Anyway, yes. For some reason I feel like. I'm gonna sleep some more, but it is almost dinner time. Anyway, I'll stop my rambling. I've gone for long enough. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Bye for now.